Well, we do need to talk about the weekend though because snow is on the horizon. Yesterday afternoon, our team put out numbers on this system. We wanted to get ahead of it just to let you know that, okay, like what does minor, what does you know, more likely amounts mean. The reality is, is that there still is going to be some wiggle in these numbers. Even this morning, there was a little bit more of a push to the east with that better snow chance. But still, if you're in our western spots, you could, some of you, not see a single snowflake, but up to one inch. It just depends on where the track of this system ends up. And right now, we're talking about differences in model paths that are like 30 to 40, 45 uh, kind of differences. It seems minor, but it has a big impact on who does and does not get snow. But it still looks like it's east of I-71 that you will see that better chance for accumulating snow with one to three inches possible and a lot of kind of east of the city and throughout northern Kentucky and then two to five inches to our very southeastern spots. That's where, it, yeah, yes, it will absolutely snow. And just in this morning in the hour, we had a winter storm watch posted. Now, as you can see, it's just beyond our viewing area, but this is a huge winter storm watch all the way back up into New York. It goes back into northern Arkansas. This is for what will happen on Saturday and the main. I mean, this is the main area of concern, but here we are in Cincinnati once again on the edge on the back shield of an event, which I'll be honest makes it difficult. It makes it difficult. Number one to know if we do or don't get snow, let alone with a very sharp cutoff it can make the difference within two or three counties between somebody getting nothing to four inches of snow. Like that's the scenario that we're in. And that's why we try to be transparent and forecasting, let you know what we're leaning toward. And that's why I've had a big old blog going all week just to keep you in the loop.